there are collaborations and then there is Project X. A never seen before coming together of musical geniuses who lend their expertise and talent to create a trend that is a benchmark in itself. Musician and drummer par excellence Ranjit Barod had the framework of a tune in mind. What happened next with the collaborative efforts of Oscar winner A.R. Rahman? The Queen of Hindustani classical music Shubha Mudgal. The King of commercial Bollywood successes Salim Merchant and the musical genius of modern-day music, Amit Trivedi. A song emerged, one that had the best of all the maestros. Project X is not just another collaboration. It is the collaboration. Next artist in my series entitled Project X is an amazing singer, versatile. She was one of the early singers that sort of crossed over with songs like Apke Saman, Ali More Angana, and uh, I think that was her winning moment when she proved to everyone that she can inhabit both worlds, independent and classical, uh, and be a part of uh, uh, the music scene equally on both levels. I worked with her first when I did Vande Mataram, the second in a series of albums that were produced by Bharat Bala and of course my very close friend and brother A.R. Rahman did the first installment. And I worked with Shubha and I was blown away with um, just the level of her commitment and how detailed um, her interpretation of my composition was. Um, uh, she's, she's amazing and uh, it's very inspiring for me to sit down and have a chat with her. Thank you for being with me today, Shubha. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Um, so we're going to hang. We're just going to, you know, relax and chat. And it's always nice to see you. I'm, I'm a fan first. And Likewise. <laughs> I'm a fan first. And ever since we first worked, and uh, I, I was immediately touched not only by your singing as a parent, but your humanity and, and who you are. Um, so in, uh, in a run up to this conversation, I. I um, read a little bit and 1959. Yes. Me too. It was oh, a good super, year. Super, super, super. For people super. and for wine. Achha, I, that I haven't started <laughs> yet because I think I do most things with a great deal of passion. Yes. So I keep yes. threatening to start drinking yes, and haven't started yes. yet. <laughs> I'm not a connoisseur, but uh, uh, I've been dabbling, dabbling a I little bit. I remain intoxicated with the music. This is true. <laughs> this is true. You don't, you don't need it. And um, also you studied dance when you were young, I when, believe. Yeah, when I was sort of several... And Kathak. Uh, yes, Kathak. And yes. sort of when I was about 50 kgs lighter. Yes. And, and um, I, I, I started when I was about four. Yes. And I learned till I was in my, till I was a teenager and I actually started studying vocal music. Okay. Uh, so I was fairly serious about it and then gave it up uh, because I just... Because that would have been something, no? dancer <laughs> who sings. No, I mean ultimate, no ultimate kind of. But you felt at some point that the singing had had taken hold of you in a far stronger way. 
Well, you know, what happened was that I started learning as part of my training for Kathak because yes. the whole idea of doing Abhinay with Thumri. Yes, yes. And uh, my mother suggested that I take uh, lessons in vocal music because mm -hmm. she felt, I mean, I could barely hold tune like so many people in, right. the, in, in India. Right. But I really didn't know anything about elaboration, about ragdari music. Yes. And uh, so she said, why don't you train? This will help your study. And yes. uh, once I started that, I think since I started my lessons in vocal music so late, mm -hmm. I started when I was about, let's say, 17. Okay. And and you, uh, so I thought that I needed to spend far more time learning the basics and the elementary sort of yes. building blocks. Yes. And then I was completely um, charged by the independence of being able to sing. Yeah. I mean, of course, dance depends on too many other things. Yeah, right. You know? Yeah, and also yes, yeah, yeah. And it's a little more. I think you have to be a little more narcissistic. <laughs> Perhaps, no, yes. as a dancer or an actor, you have to have that sort of uh, ability to serve the art form and, and put yourself a little bit on exhibition to, to serve as a vehicle Possible. to, Possible. you know, and yeah. I think um, uh, the sort of more uh, singing instrumental things allow you to be totally immersed in that and not be aware of of the eye at all. Yeah, I think that was really you what, know? and also I needed to put in too much work. I mean, also because I started so late that you know something yes. that people learn when they're five and six. Yes. I was learning when I was seventeen or eighteen, yes. so I was very fortunate. It's already, yeah. already very demanding. Yeah, yeah. And um, so, born in Allahabad and yes. moved to Delhi, or moved to Delhi. Moved to Delhi. Yes. Of course, you've won the national award, and there was an award you won uh, for something you did in Chicago as part of a was it a, a music festival or a film festival? What no, was you that? You know, the only one feature film that I've scored for. Wow! Um, and you know, I haven't heard this one. It was only when I was doing research that I found out. Well, it was about I think uh, the director Rajan Kosa came to me yeah. because he was making a film which was on the Guru Shishya Parampara, mm. and and the protagonists actually were singers of Khayal and Thumri, mm. and therefore possibly he came to me. I, of course, had no idea of scoring for a film, yeah. but I found the entire process of working with a team um, and a team with so many people from so many disciplines involved in it yes. quite, quite fascinating and at times quite irritating as well. Yeah. And um, I had a long association with Rajan Kosa because yeah. ever since he was scripting and writing, he was meeting me. Yeah. And um, um, that's the only feature film that I've ever um, done the music for mm. and delightfully for me Wonderful. it won an award in Chicago. And what was the film called? It's called Dance of the Wind and in, yes. uh, in uh, Hindi it's called Swar Mandal. I want to speak a little bit about because um, you're one of the few um, musicians I've met who is so steeped in the classical tradition yet so open to embrace everything else because um, and I'm, I'm in, 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 in uh, simpatico with you that there's only good music and music not like John says there's music that's played well and not played so Absolutely. well. Absolutely. <laughs> we won't even call it bad, bad music. Yeah. It's just music yeah. not played so yeah. well. And I want to talk a little bit about, because um, I think for any um, uh, classical musician to have this wonderful broad-minded approach, there has to be a hunger. There has to be something that it's, it's not that we're incomplete without it, but we're constantly uh, evolving and, and, and um, sort of uh, exposing ourselves to diverse things. And how did you, um, what led to you being this broad-minded and, 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 and able to sort of uh, make yourself part of any ensemble that's, uh, as long as it meets a certain standard and a quality, you're happy to be a part of it. 
You know, um, I think I must give the credit for that both to my parents and to my gurus. Yes. So at home, you know, um, I mean, I grew up in a home where my parents, their profession was to teach English literature at the Allahabad University. Mm -hmm. But they were crazy about music and about oh. the arts in general. And, and so I grew up in this home where my father was mm, listening to all kinds of music, was discussing uh, ghazal and Urdu shairi with mm. people who were very knowledgeable, was attending Qawwali sessions and coming back and telling us about the entire idea of rhythm as trance mm. and you know ki all kinds of discussions and arguments and, and the ability also to you know, agree to disagree. Mm -hmm. So my mother would say, no, I don't like this. And he would say, but I do, and et cetera, et cetera. Yes. So, you know, it was wonderful. And at the same time, you know, he would say, I'm a great fan of Kishore Kumar. So he would make little cassette compilations of his favorite uh, Kishore Kumar songs. Oh, that's great. And, you know, mixtape kind of uh -huh. uh, things. And um, so I grew up in this home which really rejoiced in uh, in being involved with the arts. Yeah, I don't think they had to be musicians to be have a creative bent. Yes. You know? Yeah, and they had their preferences. I think what was more easily accessible for them was Hindustani music yes. or North Indian yeah, music yeah, yeah. and um, uh, in various aspects of North Indian music. But yes. they loved, my parents really loved music yeah. and encouraged us to listen to all kinds of music. So there was this, you know, liberal art loving approach at home. Yes, yes. And then I was very lucky to go to to the, some of the greatest scholars and composers and musicians whom I was able to learn from. Yes. So Pandit Rama Shrajhaji, from whom I Ji. learned for over 30 years, yes. he uh, was of course, he is considered one of the greatest composers in contemporary Hindustani classical yes. music yes. and a great scholar. Um, never a great performer, he, he, he never sort of got opportunities to perform, but everybody in, in the world of Hindustani music quite reveres him. Oh. But his, when he ran away from home to study music, he joined a Ramlila company. Okay. So, you know, and, and he knew the Ramayana by heart. He could sing it. He had this enormous storehouse of folk compositions, which right. he sang to me at, at times. Wow. And taught me as well. Um, Srimati Nena Devi, from whom I learned Thumri, yes. loved Urdu poetry, was involved in, you know, uh, producing uh, programs for Doordarshan mm -hmm. in their days of glory. Yes. And and similarly, everybody that I, Pandit Jitendra Bhisheki was Ji. so, yes, uh, yes. he made such a great uh, path-breaking um, contribution yes. to uh, Marathi theatre music as well. So I think I was very lucky that both in, in the family as well as with my gurus, there was this, you know, kind of eclectic approach which encouraged uh, students to really look at various aspects of music, to be a student of music first yes. and a student of Hindustani music thereafter. thereafter. And so it was very natural for me to inherit this love and curiosity. But yes, I'm, I'm delighted that I've had the opportunity to work with people from outside of classical music yeah. such as yourself. And I think it's really enriched my life a lot. And what it was a chance encounter what with Jawar Vattal, was it? Was yes, it, Jawahar. He's, he introduced you to this whole other other side of things? Or? Yeah, Jawahar was actually, he, he had the studio in Horse right. in Delhi. Yeah. And I was recording a, uh, an album of Ragdari music. So Ji. I was singing God Malhar and yes. recording that at his studio. And he peeped in and said hi. And he said, you know, um, once you finish, can we have some tea together? And we said, sure, and sat together. And he said, you know, I want to make some compositions and would you sing them? I said, well, I've never done this before. Right. So he said, um, you know, just let's do one and let's see if you are comfortable with it. Then we can see whether it can turn into an album or not. And I was a little hesitant because I was used to always having a tanpura and listening, you know, sort of the ensemble being there. Yes. And I was terrified of, you know, this multi-track kind of dubbing yeah, yeah, yeah. and being alone in the studio and hearing these sounds from everywhere in my, in, in my headphones. I said, I'll never be able to do this. Yeah, yeah. So it took him a little while. I think it was the a fear of the unfamiliar. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he said, come in one day and the studio is mine. You can come in and take whatever time you like. And um, it was a challenge. I, mm -hmm. I'm not used to that. So there's no yeah, question yeah. about the fact that it was very difficult for me. Mm -hmm. And yet there was a certain uh, maza, yes. you know, and then yeah, the yeah. whole thing. And I felt great about the challenge. Yeah. And I stumbled many times. And I, I, I bet I would still stumble yeah, many yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. 
but it was great fun for me and uh, we recorded this one song and then the second and then the third and then it turned into this album called Ali More Angana and yes. then oh and my very, god very very popular <laughs> What are you currently involved in? What's what's going on besides the stuff that we're going to do together? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. promise you. I know I've been, uh, but I think uh, I have a I have a wonderful opportunity now uh, through the people that are doing the show with us that we can. They don't know about it yet, but great. Let's keep it under wraps. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know about it yet, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do something. What else are you currently uh, involved with? Ranjit, um, you know um, about. Um, almost about 12 years ago mm. you know that i occasionally worked as a consultant with some record labels yes, um, yes. and primarily for yes. hindustani classical yes. music yeah. but i was really getting very concerned about the whole idea of um, of how the recording the music industry in india is really neglecting um, various forms of music yes. yeah. by saying that they don't sell i was getting very concerned about the fact that wherever you went you heard lovely music of all kinds and yet when you asked those brilliant performers do you have a yes. um, a cd or an album they'd say no so i i i, I told anish that uh, do you think we could set up a um, kind of a, a distribution platform right and do you think we could you know do make it available on terms that would be artist friendly yes so the artist really owns everything we should yes. not own anything right. uh, with whatever little resources we have let's try and set up this platform yeah and so we registered this company called underscore records yes. private limited and it's um, um uh, partner website called underscore records.com right and we um said that this has to be completely an artist driven thing and we started underscore by distributing those cds online mm -hmm. we tied up with you know one of the biggest um, gateways payment gateways in yes. india yeah. and um, we start made the small very tiny little yes uh, beginning yes. of course it's completely um, you know it's a very tiny team that runs it yeah. but um it's been around for all these years we started it i want to go log on because i i read about it when i was doing uh, research to speak with you um and um it's wonderful and i um you know i'm happy that uh, whoever watches this gets to see uh, you know what's going on inside your mind and we're going to take a short break and then i'm going to play this song yes, for please. you which um, i'd like you to i need help I need oh, help so Oh no you don't you, but you, you, it'll always be delightful I'm, I mean, I mean I know that working with you is a challenge and a delight Thank you so much <laughs> thank, thank you. you thank, thank you. you so much That's what he had written. Jia mil jaye to jaha khushnuma ho jaye. One, two, two. One, two, three. Jaha khushnuma ho jaye to jia mil jaye to jaha khushnuma ho jaye. बिल्कुल बिल्कुल आपका जगह है ये आप जैसा करें सब अच्छा ही होने वाला है मुझे क्या करना मुझे तो सुनना है आइए कब जहाँ खुशनुमा हो जाए जो जिया मिल जाए तो जहाँ खुशनुमा हो जाए जो जिया मिल जाए तो जहाँ वंस अगेन प्लीज जहाँ खुशनुमा हो जाए जो जिया मिल जाए तो जहाँ खुशनुमा हो जाए जो जिया मिल जाए तो जहाँ खुशनुमा हो जाए जो जिया मिल जाए तो 
जहाँ खुशनुमा हो जाए जो जिया मिल जाए जो जहाँ टू मच ब्यूटीफुल ऐसे तो दिन भर चलते रहे मैं मजा लेते हैं मतलब खुशनुमा हो जाए ब्यूटीफुल ब्यूटीफुल we'll do one more where you can just improv and add a little bit and then we have a lot of good things jahan khushnuma ho jaye jo jiya mil jaye to jahan khushnuma ho jaye jo jiya mil jaye after you've said it a couple of times keep it open you don't need to do the words so much मो आलापी मो जहा जिया खुशनुमा वो तो बिकॉज दे आर वेरी बाइंडिंग वर्ड ऑल्सो यू नो हाँ जस्ट वन लास्ट वन Beautiful, beautiful, Ji. Thank you. Done. Cool. Thank you. So beautiful as always, always, very uplifting. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. It was amazing because I decided what really would make uh, Project X exciting is that we do a track. Uh, why just speak with everybody? We make a song and and um, you know ask my friends to collaborate and jam on it and. Man, Shubha sang as I ex more than uh, more than my expectations. Really, she she sang beautifully, and uh, I can't wait to develop this track further with the other artists I'm uh, going to be speaking with and collaborating with, and share all of this with uh, you, the viewer. So enjoy. I know I will.